Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate you, like really. I'm doing a full face uh, kind of a mukbang today. Uh, yeah, I just felt like it. I made some delicious chicken uh, chili verde enchiladas, I think. Yeah, they're, anyway, it's chi chicken and cheese enchiladas with chili verde um, sauce and some sour cream and some cilantro. So we'll see how it comes out. I think it's gonna taste good. Mm. And I have a pernish, Wicked Weed Pernicious IPA right here. It's so good. I haven't had a beer for a while, so I just was feeling like a beer. Oh yeah. Pardon me if you can hear my um, my air conditioner i it's so hot right now and i just can't turn it off so we're just gonna go with it um yeah this is my enchiladas i made them in a big pan i figured i would just um i don't know let's just take one out go from there oh i added some avocado too this is gonna be really hard to get out of here i think <laughs> i should do like like Jojo does and let me cut it in half I, I should do like Jojo does and just eat it out of the pan like I love when she does Jojo what's up girl <laughs> when Jojo does like um, pasta videos and she makes like a big casserole and she just eats it out of the casserole it looks looks so delicious and good so I'm just gonna do I cut it in half because I just can't get it out of the pan so I'm gonna do Ooh, like that. And I need to get some extra sauce <laughs> with my spatula. <laughs> oh my gosh, this isn't working very well, but okay, I think that's good. <laughs> it looks messy, but yeah. Let's put this to the side. Um, hold on one second, put this over here <laughs> oh <laughs> okay uh, yeah this is this is fun I'm, I'm really uh, enjoying this so this is my um, enchiladas so they're pretty easy I just kind of winged it and let's eat I wish I had like a better angle for you guys to see it's hard for me to I should put it up on something but yeah right now anyway whatever let's just dig in I'm so hungry I'm always so hungry why is that all right let's try this bad boy oh. <laughs> it's just rotisserie chicken mmm <laughs> Yum. It is rotisserie chicken, so easy. Just take it off the bone. And I, I put it in a bowl with some seasonings and some cilantro and some green chilies. And then I took my tortillas and just heated them up. I didn't dip them in sauce first, but I he just heated them up. And then I put cheese inside, like a four cheese Mexican blend, and the chicken. And then rolled them up and put the sauce on top, put more cheese on top, and baked it in the oven for like 30 minutes. Mm. It came out pretty good. Oh, I can hear my oven. I forgot to turn my oven off. <laughs> mm. Really, really good. I'm like a cilantro lover though. You have to love, like, I love cilantro. 
So you can make enchiladas however you want to. It's just super easy. I don't know if they're actually like Mexican or not, or if they are just like an American Mexican thing. I don't know. So, oh my gosh, you guys, I, so my husband is currently, he left this morning to go um, to Pennsylvania for a week. So I am going to be working and just like chilling at home. Um, I can make a few more videos because he's out of the house and it's easier to do it when he's not here. <laughs> messy, messy. So So he's there and I, um, I went, I have today and tomorrow off and I went antiquing today. I love to go to like thrift stores, antique stores. And I went to my favorite antique place today because I was looking, I was on the hunt for like some, um, vintage kitchen gadgets. Like I bought some, um, Metzalunas. I got some old potato mashers. I got a, um, they had some cool stuff. They had like one of those really old like egg beaters that you like, it has the two blades or the two, what do you call it? <laughs> the two like things that were, and then you like turn the handle and it beats the eggs. They had one of those, but I didn't get it. Um, I, I was actually in the hunt for some old rolling pins because I have this like one shelf that in my kitchen that I want to like display the old kitchen gadgets on or the vintage kitchen gadgets I should say. So mm. Mm. This is really good you guys um so i was on the hunt for some old rolling pins and i had seen some there the last time i was there with my friend crystal so i went back for them or to just like see what they had and i ended up finding like a lot more stuff i got like a cute little shelf to put like trinkets on um, I wanted like a trinket shelf, like an actual trinket shelf. I've been following Scarlet C on um, like Facebook and Instagram and she is so good at thrifting and I literally like, I want to just be like her. <laughs> um, she decorates in like mid-century modern and her whole house is like, like decorated so cute. And so anyway, I was... I'm trying to just like, I don't know what I'm trying to do, <laughs> but the, anyway, whatever, I, I'm like getting off track. I'm just rambling right now. <laughs> I'm sorry about that. Um, but yeah, I, I really like want, I love like old vintage things and I, I just am, I don't know. I, I'm so excited to like start decorating in my house like that. Hmm. So I wanted like a trinket shelf, but I couldn't find one. And that way I can start collecting like little miniature things and like put them on my trinket shelf. <laughs> I know I'm such a crazy like old lady. Mm, this is so good. I have a shit ton of enchiladas left over too. Like I have, I made six big, huge ones and I have five left over and I'm not going to be able to eat more than this. So this antique store is just so beautiful. I just love it so much. I love like walking around it. I don't know if you guys watched my short about the um antique mall shenanigans 
it, it was so funny because they had like all these amazing like humongous paintings and they were all thousands and thousands of dollars like just really like forty fifty thousand dollars for these paintings that are just incredible and amazing and huge like you need like um, a castle to like display these paintings and it was so funny because like I was the first time I ever went there like I was walking around and like I see all these paintings and then all of a sudden like I see this one of just like Lonnie Anderson <laughs> and it totally made me crack up so hard I was like oh my god like what is she doing in the sea of these amazing like I mean it was a it's a beautiful painting of Lonnie Anderson and it looks just like her but and I know the artist is like probably really famous but it was so funny because I just thought like in this in the sea of like these amazing like old century paintings is Lonnie Anderson <laughs> it just cracked me up so I made a short video about it mm. and I just love going there they have so much stuff like just so much to look at you could be there like days and days and still not see everything it's just amazing so in my old age, I'm like loving going to thrift stores. I'm loving trying to find like old, you know, vintage things and just kind of like add them to my house as my, I mean, I don't really have a style. Like, as you can see, I just kind of have like a mishmash of stuff. Um, I love pottery. I love like old pottery, um, handmade pottery. I'm a sucker for pottery. So yeah. Oh my gosh so good so tomorrow is my anniversary you guys three years married with my honey um, we have been together for like almost six years I think like to get I've known him for a long time I've known him for like um, I think like 11 years um, but yeah he is he he's like the sweetest guy ever and he's my best friend and tomorrow is my three-year wedding anniversary to him and he left me <laughs> he left me to go to Gettysburg Pennsylvania <laughs> he is um, he was in Vietnam and he every year they have a reunion with all the guys that was were in his um, his group and they and normally I got to go uh, but this year uh, my friend Isabel that I work with is on her vacation currently so I couldn't go to Gettysburg so I'm here and I'm working and he left me on my anniversary <laughs> but he took me out to the most fabulous dinner last night mm. oh, every bite is so freaking good he um he took me to this really good place I got um so he got like scallops wrapped in bacon as an appetizer and I got a cup of lobster bisque and then um, he ordered the surf and turf he got filet and two lobster tails and his came with like mashed potatoes and asparagus I think and then I ordered the baked scallops with lobster Newberg sauce oh, they were so good and mine came with like a baked potato and some like veggies and I told him to get two lobster tails because I would I was gonna eat some of his lobster tail <laughs> and when they came out it was like like ginormous they were like two huge 12 ounce lobster tails like two of them and I was like oh honey wait till you see the bill you're gonna be like blown away by the bill and he was like it's okay it's what I want I'm like okay good so we um, I had a bite of his lobster it was really good my scallops were delicious everything was so good and like the meal the the atmosphere was so nice they had like jazz music playing and yeah, it was just, it was a really nice dining experience. And we had, um, we had their homemade cheesecake for dessert. We ordered 
a little um, New York cheesecake that they make in-house and it's like it was some of the best cheesecake I've ever had and the people that were sitting next to us were so sweet like they heard me say happy anniversary to my husband and they were like oh let me buy you guys an, an uh, anniversary drink and so that was like so sweet like so I ordered like a glass of like nice port wine to have with my cheesecake and it was so good oh my god it was just like such a nice dining experience but the bill was like oh my god I don't even want to tell you all in all with tip we spent like four hundred dollars <laughs> I was like I've never in my life spent four hundred dollars at a restaurant before for two people like it was just insane <laughs> but it was really good. So anyway, all right, let me hurry up and finish this because I know this video is getting long, but it's good. Mm. I never do like mukbangs. I always do like ASMR, um, you know, the, just the mouth <laughs> um, but yeah when I when we were on vacation I made a um, <clears throat> like a quick little car mukbang with um, Raisin Cane's chicken and I got some people saying oh can you please make some more of these and so I was like I guess you know I don't know I I don't know if I want to keep doing them I mean it's just it feels uncomfortable to me like it just feels more comfortable to just show my mouth <laughs> Like, I don't know. I, I'm sure some of you guys understand. But, sorry about the lighting. The lighting was good before. I don't know what happened. The sun is setting. It's like six o'clock at night. And I don't know. The lighting, I'm like looking in the, like the lighting was good when I, when I started. <laughs> So I don't know what happened. This was so good. Thank you guys so much for being here with me for this video. Um, I really appreciate you watching. I would love it if you guys subscribe to my channel. Um, send me some comments. Uh, hit the like button. Make sure you tap that notification bell so you know every time I upload a new video. And I just want you to know that I care about you guys all so much and love you and cannot wait to see you in the next video. We'll take, uh, we'll take, have a great day. <laughs> I'm such a dork. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>